Dustin Hopkins, who was the AFC Special Teams Player of the Week last week, might get it again. Um, uh, another really good performance. He's now 7 of 7 on 50-plus yarders. He also hit a career-long 58-yarder. Um, you know, when we look back at this, that might be the best acquisition next to Jim Schwartz uh, all offseason. Yeah, Dustin Hopkins has been absolutely phenomenal. When we, when we traded for him, I knew he would probably be pretty good just based off his career numbers. But the one thing that is that is really just taken, at least me by surprise, his percentage from 50 yards plus has been, I mean, he's just been phenomenal. And in his career, that's the only place he's really struggled. And, and that's understandable, I mean, because those are long kicks. But, I mean, he is just in another level this year. That trade by Andrew Barry, you know, there were some people, like, there were a couple that were like, well, why do you trade for a kicker? This is exactly why you trade for a kicker. He has been one of the most valuable members of this team this year, and he's the reason why the Browns have won two games this year, uh, pretty much by his leg. So, you know, Dustin Hopkins is a great acquisition, another great move by Andrew Barry, and keep in mind, really didn't give up much to get him. You still have him under contract for 2024. So, once again, Andrew Berry just finds a way to through the trade market to bring in a, an impact player to the Browns.